Now I just got really quiet. I just got really quiet and awkward. Um, so we have 2 cosine of 3t minus 1. So this is very similar just to the exact problem that I just went over, right? Just do the exact same thing. However, we know that we have this 3t. But remember, the 3t, that is within your function, right? You're taking the cosine of 3t. So unfortunately, we can't undo that until we get rid of our cosine function. All right, until we undo the cosine function, then we can undo the 3t. So the first thing we need to do is we need to isolate the cosine. So we're going to follow our inverse operations like we've always done. Just remember that 3t is inside there because the biggest mistake that a lot of students are going to want to make is they're going to say, why don't you divide by 3 right now? Well, we can't divide by 3 because that's taking the cosine of that function. It's like doing this. It's like saying 3x squared equals um, 12, right? To solve this, your next step is to undo the square, right? To take the square root. You can't divide by 3, right? Because the 3 is being squared. Does that make sense? So you don't divide by 3. That's not the next step. The next step is to square root both sides. Then you divide by 3. The same thing here. We can't divide by 3 until we undo the cosine. Okay, So we don't really undo the cosine right now. We're not using the inverse. But what we're doing is we're finding the values of cosine at 1 half. So we look at, um, since there's no constraint, we're going to look at our two answers on the interval of 2 pi. And then, and then we'll add 2 pi for our coterminal angles. So cosine equals 1 half. We have two angles here. So we have 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. And we have 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2. That's a horrible 2. OK, so this angle is pi thirds. And this angle is 5 pi over 3. So therefore, we can say t, I'm sorry, 3t equals um, pi thirds plus 2 pi n. Right? Because this answer is going to continue on non. There's no restrictions on this, so that answer is going to continue. And then also we have 3t equals um, 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. All right? Now, now we can undo. Now that we've evaluated for cosine, now we can undo the 3. So now you divide by 3. And your final answers will have um, so divide by three. Um, so you're going to have pi over nine plus two pi n divided by three. And here you have t equals five pi over nine plus two pi n divided by three. Okay. Did you guys just see how you just do the multiple angle at the end? All right? And so it's no difference. Anything else, we are going to write our answers with our um, infinite solutions, not on an interval. And then just make sure you divide or multiply by whatever you need to do to undo the variable. Okay? So that's only the extra added step we have.